Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Neon Genesis Evangelion episode number 11 and 12. Okay, so the previous episode, uh, the previous two episodes were more, you know, focused on the teamwork, the teamwork aspect of Asuka and Shinji, like both of them. Like the first episode uh, kind of, you know, focused on it a bit more. Like there was this whole thing with Asuka being unable to cooperate well with Shinji. So like, like they had to do the same stuff, like eat same thing, kind of synchronize and everything. So like uh, that was that. And the next episode also had a little bit of, you know, kind of the uh, team chemistry between uh, Asuka and Shinji, where like Asuka wanted to go in and get that um, angel, angel fetus or whatever that was. Uh, unfortunately, which kind of failed because it like it broke out of that shell and uh like then like shinji came in to help her and it also showed you know the little bit of the bit of trust that they gained for each other and uh kind of the you know the respect that they gained for each other so yeah like both were good good episodes and they kind of you know strengthened the bond between those two so yeah let's see what this two episode brings so Without further ado, let's get started with Neon Genesis Evangelion episode number 11. Alright, so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. <laughs> so, um, like we've seen a few angels uh i think how many of them did we see um one two three or four i'm not sure most probably four so and they're i think named uh, well wasn't it that like one of them was called angel number five i think i think the i'm not sure one of them was five and there was a nine or eight i think i cannot remember so like how are they even named you know like i can understand how the evangelians are named like one zero one and two but like the angels are kind of random you see okay normal day guess okay who's Oh. Oh, these are from the mm, uh, from the you know those people who sat, sit in the chair and do whole the whole Evangelion thing, like they're kind of yeah 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 okay okay yeah they're, they're those two people who you know always help with the Evangelion. Oh. City Council's meeting. <laughs> Elections. Maki. Okay, what was that? Oh, the supercomputers. Three different computers. Oh. So, like the computers run the whole city? <laughs> oh. Oh, so Ray will be... 
Okay. That doesn't seem like a good news. You trickle fell. Oh, okay. <clears throat> hmm. In the still darkness. Um, who are you? Oh, is this Kaji? I think so. <laughs> This is Kaji, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's calling his dad. <laughs> Um, I doubt your dad will be willing to have that career discussion. Ah, uh, yeah, well, uh, you're a bit mean, you know. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Did it get cut off? Oh, electricity. Oh, wow. Oh, maybe, yeah. Oh, or, oh no. Will something bad happen to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it was her. Great. Oh. What? Okay. Yeah, it, it was like a power failure or something. <laughs> okay. And there you go. So there'll be no trains. Like, there, you know, go by electricity. As always, impatient. <laughs> Alright, this is a mess, you know. Complete blackout. This main song. Okay. Oh, someone sabotaging them or something? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Candles they're using. Oh! Oh. Oh no. Okay, this is a problem. Oh my god, what the hell? That's a spider! A spider angel! Ha! <laughs> I hate spiders. <laughs> well... <laughs> Correct. Yeah.
But how will you do that? Like, oh my god, everything's like gone. But what will they do now if the angel is coming? What? What is that? Oh, some kind of emergency. Yeah, emergency manual. Ah, group leader. Definitely. <laughs> oh boy, Ray doesn't care. <laughs> Ah, uh, manual door. <laughs> mm. Okay. Um, you cannot. Okay, that's a, another way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but <laughs> yes. What the? Who is this? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like this is the modern. Oh. <laughs> oh great <laughs> the day tokyo 3 stood still nozomo takahashi <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he's having the time of his life <laughs> like yeah i'm going to crush this Oh. Hmm, sabotage. Oh, okay, that's pretty interesting. Hmm. Yes. It's quite correct, you know. Okay, Asuka. Oh, okay. Who? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was thinking that. Like, why are they called angels, you know? That's a really weird, like, naming sense. And I... Okay, Shinji. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. Oh, hello there. Oh, what the? What the hell? What is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, go back. Um <sighs> manually. All right. Yeah, that was Okay. Um, Asuka, yeah. Uh, Asuka, not the time. This is not the time. Damn, you know, they have to do it all manually, like. Hmm, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think their subtitles took took a little bit of liberties. I doubt that is something that Asuka said. <laughs> All right, let's go. Exactly. <laughs> what the? Ah, there they are. Ah, there you are. Let, let's go. No time to waste. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, that is kind of correct, you know, he has that faith, like, not gonna lie. He's kind of rude, you know, but still. Okay. Oh boy, yup. Everything through manual process. Okay, okay, whoa. Vangelin itself has to pry it open. Oh, uh, Ray is also. Asuka is also there. So, three Evangelions are going to come out, I'm guessing. Damn, that's freaky. Okay. <laughs> Launch. <laughs> Crawling up the <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> like just imagine if you had to do each and everything manually. <laughs> like everything was so cool before that. You know, the first episode and all of these episodes. Like they're blasting off. 
Oh, oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh! Okay. All right. Um. Okay. Uh. That was a failure. Oh my God! It's vomiting from its eyes. Great job. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Now what to do with this? Can you like deploy the AT field and Yeah. You can use the AT field, you know, I think so. Maybe that will help. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well. Well, okay. Get him. Okay, like literally protecting you, like protecting them by using her, you know, body. Okay, there you go. Now, shoot! Okay, teamwork! All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is <laughs> she? She's weak. She's, she has to go to the. You know. Okay. There you go. Uh. <laughs> Ironic that Star is a good one. Yeah. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, the baka. That's a like, uh, like signature phrase or something. Like she used to say, "Like ah, the baka." Two people are singing today, or three. Two of them. Yeah, two of them. I'm guessing uh, Aina Mire and Asuka. Okay, so this was another teamwork episode. <laughs> All right, so uh, like the angel, um, this is another new type of angel, it wasn't it? So like as I was talking about, like the way they, I'm not sure, like how they, you know, like name the angels. Like I'm sure there has some kind of a significance in the numbering. Like one of them was called angel number four five i think another was eight or something like that i cannot remember but uh so i'm guessing they have some kind of uh maybe the way they appeared in the world is that the way they like number them for example the first angel came first and then the second or something maybe that's how they number it or maybe something else or maybe uh you know like uh the strength level or something like uh, the number one is strongest 
uh, number nine is the weakest something like that who knows but i'm not even sure if they're going to you know uh tell us the reason and uh, why like how they name them behind the naming anyways oh also another thing that they said in this episode that you know i've also found this a little bit curious like why are they called angels like they could have literally named them anything why angels like uh like isn't it a weird like you know naming sense like uh angels like they're literally coming here to destroy you so they could have called them devils or demons but no they're, they're calling him angel get them angels so like um i i don't know like like kind of weird how they like named it maybe it has a bigger significance maybe there is a new no uh, bigger reason behind how they named it or something which i'm also not sure if they're going to you know uh diverge the reason later on or not uh anyways okay let's uh so yeah this episode this was um like this was a little bit of a weird episode like the whole place was you know uh, under blackout and like they had no end no power no electricity nothing and they had to do everything manually now like <laughs> like it was funny seeing how they were doing it manually you know like in the previous episode uh, like obviously the previous episodes whenever the evangelion <clears throat> lifted off they were like you know like uh like it's like take out the you know insertion plug then like uh the pilot gets in or something then put it push it back everything was done you know me mechanically everything and uh, like everything like happened so quickly like uh in i don't know one like one or two minutes everything was uh, completed and then like uh they like said like lift off and the uh, evangelion kind of came out and the gun came out and it came uh into the surface and started fighting like like so damn cool so quickly but now like <laughs> like everything had to be do, like done manually they had to <laughs> bring in like a 10 20 people they had to you know pull the whole thing up <laughs> then it's like the pilot gets in and the evangelion itself has to like pry open the doors <laughs> then the evangelion has to crawl up the <laughs> whole system and uh, <laughs> wow like <laughs> Like that was really funny, you know, like seeing everything done manually. Uh, like as Asuka said, that it looks so uncool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so you know, uh, like I think that this, like this, is completely a different thing I'm talking about. Like, uh, you know, there's like a YouTube video I've seen before, like where there's like these like superheroes who like they showed us that how they looks when there's no special effect involved. You know, like. Uh, like like uh, they were doing like stuff like this yeah who are and like how like you know the powers you usually come out there was nothing in real world and they were acting it all and when we saw it it like in you know the behind the scenes it it was looking so silly like everyone was doing so silly stuff and everyone was laughing at that you know uh, in the comment section and then they showed us that uh, like how it looked like with all the special effects and it looked so damn cool so something like that like <laughs> without special effects without you know all of these stuff <laughs> things like this <laughs> are usually how it goes so yeah and <clears throat> all right so that and um <clears throat> also uh okay another thing mm, now shinji's dad okay so uh like kind of got like there's one thing i have to you know uh, admit that he trusts like he trusts in them even though he is kind of rude uh, in a way he's, he's kind of you know doesn't like properly communicate with shinji and all of the other you know uh, stuff that he does which are kind of uh, like uh, like not good still he has a trust in him because obviously if like uh, thinking about it like he kind of called shinji here because he wanted his help you know in the first place like if he did not trust him he wouldn't have called him to come here and help him with the whole evangelion thing so like he did it so that means that trust factor is there he like like he trusts like trusts shinji and also the other pilots as well 
so like because of that like he said that when when, when the blackout happened he didn't even you know uh question that uh, whether the pilots will be able to come or not he just ordered that you guys get the uh you know evangelion ready uh we'll do everything manually like in his mind he knew that yeah they are somehow going to come and he trusted in them so he didn't even question that like like that's the thing that i really like i, I can respect him for that like he knows that yeah they will like come through and as i said this before maybe like maybe he really is awkward you know he doesn't know how to properly communicate with his own child uh and like kind of you know uh it 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 looks like he is like annoyed with him he does not you know like him or anything like like something like that but maybe maybe deep down he like he's proper, not properly able to express what he feels and not properly able to communicate with Shinji. So not not only Shinji, anyone. Like he like he's kind of like a you know a quiet guy. So maybe. But one thing I was really like you know I, I am curious about is if that is really the case. Why is he so you know uh, like, like like why is he so uh, what can I say? Uh, like why does he like Ayanami gets like a different treatment? Like if he really is awkward, the same thing should like apply to her also, wouldn't it? So that's like a big question in my head. Like why the sudden like why the change in behavior uh, for Ayanami Rei but not for Ikari Shinji? So like that's a big question. I'm sure we'll get an answer. Like because like this is like one of I think the major plot point because obviously uh, uh, Asuka also kind of brought this up uh, the whole thing with uh, like uh, Shinji's dad kind of uh, like uh, her being become like her being Shinji's dad's favorite or something and like, like Asuka was calling her teacher's pet or something like that and another thing that kind of confused me is was Ray at that moment said that no I am not that is not really the case so so what is the case you know like like it's kind of apparent when we see like when we saw them communicating like shinji's dad and ray that obviously shinji's dad kind of you know uh, uh, what can i say like kind of uh is a bit uh, like more affectionate towards ray even, even, like n not even like his his son kind of gets that treatment that the way he like treated ray so like it's kind of apparent we saw that uh, in the second or third episode i think so like so why does ray say that no i'm not like that's actually not the case i think she said something like that didn't she like that's kind of curious but, uh, i don't know anyways uh like ray has a lot of mystery you know uh like obviously like uh from like Comparing her to all the other characters, Rei is the most mysterious in this show. Uh, Alright, so... Yeah, and was there anything else? And also, I was uh, another thing I was really, you know, kind of... Uh, I can appreciate is that uh, Shinji's dad also helped, you know, with the manual activ uh, activating the thing, the Evangelion. Like there are a few people, you know, who usually like sits back on their chair, people in the leader position and kind of orders people. But he went there he went there and got his own hands dirty, do the job. So I can appreciate that. Like, he is uh, that kind of a person. And is there anything else? Uh, no. Oh, also, another big thing is that this was done by someone, you know, uh, a human. And uh, a good thing that Shinji's dad said was that, like most of the time, uh, humankind's enemy is another human. So <laughs> that's kind of true, you know. Like you know, this show, um, Attack on Titan. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and 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 was there anything else? Um, uh, yeah as i was saying so the, the, someone must have done this you know this sabotaging maybe they had some kind of uh purpose which i'm not sure what it was but <clears throat> all right so 
yeah that was it guys so this was uh, uh episode number um 11 so without further ado um let's get started with neon genesis evangelion episode number 12 so all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go <coughs> Hmm. <coughs> okay, one thing I'm noticing is like I think it was the second or the third episode, like things were a bit, you know, extremely serious. Like how like Shinji almost kind of died uh, at the beginning, but he kind of got traumatized and the whole thing and like was leaving the place, but Misato came and stopped him. He himself stopped and got new friends so you know <laughs> like that kind of thing has reduced a bit which i can appreciate like but i doubt that's going to continue because this is like a psychological anime the psychological aspect we saw in the beginning episodes i'm sure we'll get that more all right let's go oh 15 years ago 2080 so it's 2015 uh, currently here. Yeah? Who the? Oh. Oh, who is this? Is this Misato? This is Misato, isn't it? <coughs> Father. Oh, yeah, she also said that she had some she has some kind of thing with his dad with her dad oh this is the impact second impact isn't it what the hell whoa that was weird like i thought the second impact must be some kind of an explosion but what is this Oh, so from that she get, got the car. Okay, so she, she lost her dad for, because of that. The value of a miracle. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. And there we go. <laughs> and okay, she's clothed. I thought maybe she was not. <laughs> Hmm, okay. What? Oh, she got promoted. <clears throat> yeah, I think she was promoted. Oh. Captain to Major. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Oh, 
Oh, okay, Shinji is doing well. Mental toxicity. Okay, Shinji is better than them. Catching up. Hmm. Mm, yeah. Eight points. Damn. Um, Asuka. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Ah, Asuka is a different case. Yeah, no, that's not the thing. Like, like Asuka is like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> the great friends now. Oh, they caught Kaji as well. Oh, obviously, Asuka is here. <laughs> hmm. Oh no, you're, you're, he's again getting into that, you know, that shell. Which, which he kind of got out a little bit. Damn, they're noisy. What the hell? Hmm. Mm, let's see. Or not. Oh. Oh, she's also here. It's Ka. <laughs> Major Kasuragi. Oh, okay. South Pole, whoa. Damn. Hell. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Damn, another. Two miss. 
Whoa! Weird! Weird designs! <laughs> What's with the eyes, you know? The previous angel also had one. Uh, not one, a lot of them. Oh. Okay, it's it's throwing stuff. It's bombing the place. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. So how to defeat this? It's in space, isn't it? <laughs> oh, great. Oh. oh. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> okay. Okay, she's going through the with the plan. Okay. We kind of saw this in the previous episode also, you know, uh, not the previous but previous before that. Like she usually does everything. Don't make others suffer for personal hatred. Damn. Yeah. Okay, she's giving them a choice, all right? Nothing else to do. Ah. <laughs> That's all that takes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. She's planning where to go. <laughs> Positive thinking. Um, why? Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Wow. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, that's kind of concerning. Hmm. Will she answer? Oh yeah, she yeah she did kind of answer. Yeah. Again, Antabaka. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's kind of correct. So the people who are going to probably has the most most risk is Misato and Oh, let's see. Yeah, just like same with uh, Shinji's dad. But I can free myself from her. Like imagine catch catching a bomb with your hand. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Alright. So Magi is helping them obviously. Like it's a super computer. You can kind of calculate the distance and stuff. Okay. Woo! <gasps> Damn! All right. Ooh, okay, here you go. Okay. Okay, Shinji got it. Like the calculation is correct. What about the other two? Okay, but this is pretty difficult to maintain. Oh. Okay, they're also here. All right. Oh. oh so is that connected to the thing uh, in the in space? I'm guessing. 
like the thing in space is pooping these out <laughs> isn't it dropping this and so if this gets destroyed the thing in space will also get destroyed or something damn the crater okay stick please <laughs> okay let's see Okay, you want one as dam is damaged. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um. Okay, let's see what. There you go. <laughs> well, that wasn't so difficult, was that? Just, you know, little bits of praises. Just praise your son a little bit. He'll get more motivated. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Ramen. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. If I Yeah, like that was kind of a parent, you know, like he did everything for for his dad, yeah, just to you know make him like acknowledge Shinji like that's kind of a parent looking at him, okay, so this uh this episode gave us a few you know uh information from the past. Uh, what happened to Miss Sato? Now, one thing that uh, like I kind of like noticed in the in episode I think nine or ten, uh, in one of them, that is Miss Sato did stuff extremely reckless. Like I kind of mentioned this in the previous video as well. Like Miss Sato did stuff a lot recklessly. Like she doesn't care if you know, like if something bad happens while doing it. Her like. You know uh the focus she focuses on her objective and that's the thing that like you have to do like she just goes for it you know i think it was in the 10th episode when like asuka was going down to get the angels uh like uh the thing fetus uh like she was saying that keep you know uh okay that's the end ah so yeah as i was saying so she was like when when the other people were saying that like she has gone too deep it will get destroyed you know the evangelion it will harm the pilot uh misato was saying that no go for it just go for it and listen until you get that and uh like like that's her you know she kind of she's kind of reckless for uh her goal and um like obviously the reason kind of became uh, apparent here why she is like that the reason is you know as uh, uh, Ritsuko her name was it wasn't it yeah she said that you are doing this because of your you know the whole thing with revenge now obviously she cares for the children but you know there's still that part of her which is kind of reckless even though she cares about them like obviously she does not want them to die or like you know uh, uh, like she is reasonable in that way like in this episode also it seemed as if she was you know kind of giving the tasks to the kids which were a little bit too difficult like too life-threatening but in the end she kind of said that like the best place uh, like to be in this position is inside the Evangelion because the AT field will protect them nonetheless so like the people who were in most dangerous situation were her and uh, you know the other people who were with her so like the three kids were a lot safer than them at least so 
so that was like like that was it and she is even though she's kind of reckless she's kind of doing this for her own kind of goal like own kind of a grudge a vendetta like she like she's not too reckless like she at least you know cares about them in a way but she's reckless <laughs> like that is without no doubt and uh so yeah so the thing that um she said uh the her past uh the whole uh thing with her dad that is extremely you know familiar that is extremely similar to shinji's uh, like the, to shinji like what shinji is facing now uh, misato kind of understood that yeah her dad was like that was her dad's own you know personality the way he never you know took care of uh, her and her mom that was obviously not correct but that was you know his cowardice as, as she said that uh, my dad was a coward he just ran away from his responsibilities and like you know always as she explained that always <clears throat> focused on his job and job was everything for him so yeah and later on she kind of understood that uh, like obviously uh, like she hated her dad but in the end when she saw that her dad like really cared about her and like gave her life uh, gave his life to save her uh, she kind of understood that yeah my dad was like that like nothing you can do about it like that is just him being awkward and that is the thing i'm also saying for like you know the past couple of episodes that maybe shinji's dad is also someone like that maybe he really is awkward maybe he really does not know how to communicate with his son that's it so yeah maybe there is a good you know a good person hiding behind that like you know that difficult uh, like exterior so and this episode kind of uh like proved that in a way because obviously uh his dad kind of praised him praised shinji and like he like specifically like in the phone call said that is uh like unit one's uh, pilot here and like he specifically called for shinji and said that okay you did a good job and shinji also kind of you know i'm guessing he also kind of uh like put one and one together and came to the answer like after hearing like misato's past and seeing his dad kind of praising him i'm sure he kind of understood that yeah my dad is just like that nothing you can do about it like you have to deal with it uh, like in the end he is a good person who is doing everything so that uh you know uh like everyone could be safe like he is doing his part of the job we should also do our part of the job and the uh, reason why he like shinji uh, has started like did uh, like is doing the thing like is like riding the evangelion that became um, clear to him like uh, when she asked her asked that uh, at the beginning when asked asked that uh, why are you riding like why are you piloting the evangelion what's your reason uh, shinji said that i don't know properly now that is kind of incorrect because i'm sure like shinji had that thing in his subconscious where he like he himself kind of did that unknowingly and he wanted you know his father to praise him to look at him to acknowledge him uh, which is the reason why he started like you know piloting the evangelion in the first place because obviously if he did not have any reason he wouldn't have right like he wouldn't have piloted it so he had that reason but he did not realize it now after you know hearing the praise from his mouth he understood that yeah so maybe this is really the reason why i am doing this and also like after hearing misato's past so at least now he has a uh, you know a reason like that's important when you do something you need a reason because uh if like like the re like the reason why you need a reason is because like in difficult times uh when you think that uh why the hell am i even doing this why am i like suffering like what's the point if you have a reason you can you know uh, like remember it remember the reason why you are suffering remember the reason why you were like you know putting up with the difficult stuff that reason will become that thing which will like you know keep you keep you uh, like afloat keep you uh, you know uh, doing your best will help you 
in difficult times so that is always uh, the you know uh, the reason why you should always have a reason <laughs> like uh, reason is a good thing like you should definitely have like anything anything you do like you should definitely have reason because in tough times that is the one thing that will keep you like fighting like like help you to keep fighting so yeah like shinji has that now so and obviously i'm sure like asuka has one asuka kind of said that she is doing this for, to become uh what did she say like she's doing this for fame or something what no what did she say just a sec oh no because she is better than everyone <laughs> okay let me just check that portion uh oh to exhibit my talent to the world <laughs> yeah now here's one thing i'm not actually buying this you know i'm sure she has another reason like obviously like uh, this reason is a bit too um too ordinary <laughs> uh, maybe that is her like maybe that is really her reason but i really do not think so like she's just saying this for the sake of it like i'm sure she has some other reason because it's kind of also implied you know in the previous episode when misato and asuka was you know kind of uh like uh, like together like they were talking uh misato said that uh like uh like the second impact affected both of us quite badly so that's in the past you should you know kind of forget about that like you should focus on the present so i'm sure like asuka also must have something and she kind of like kind of uh like in her sleep like she's like called her mom's name or something so i'm sure like there is something some kind of a reason she has not definitely not to exhibit her talent to the world like i'm sure like that is also one of her reasons <laughs> because the way she is but I'm, I'm sure like there's a bigger reason on top of that so yeah and uh like um uh, and Ray's reason is kind of you know uh, like she all like she already like uh, said that to Shinji what her reason was like she uh, I think it was something with um uh like she wants her existence to be acknowledged or something like that like I'll have to you know uh, my memory is a bit muddled I'll check that out again later on but it was something along those lines and Shinji kind of empathized um, empath Empath empathized with her uh, empathized with her oh my god <laughs> i'm sorry about that it's kind of uh and uh like there was this whole uh like heart to heart talk they had which kind of changed her in a bit in a way so yeah and what else was there anything else in this episode um oh uh misato got promoted that's another thing and Shinji's dad is in the South Pole and uh, there's this thing so uh, they were like calling the South Pole a hell or something like that uh, they were like talking about it so I'm guessing one of the impacts happened there uh, so was it the second impact or the first impact uh, one of it I think like I'm not sure which impact happened there but something happened there so I'm guessing that's the reason why they're calling it hell and everything and oh also another thing two more things like uh first thing the angel was really weird you know this angel it was kind of in the in space so i was thinking like how are they going to defeat it it's in space if evangelians can't go into space so then we saw it kind of pooping stuff out <laughs> you know and uh, like the things that were they were pooping out were kind of uh, extensions of its own body i'm guessing like bombs kind of so like de destroying it also i'm guessing affected it in space or something i'm not sure something like that and another thing the impact now here's the thing you know i was extremely surprised at the impact because the way <coughs> <coughs> the impact happened now here's the thing like when they like they have been mentioning the impact for quite a few like while quite a few episodes now whenever they like like talked about the impact i thought maybe it was some kind of an explosion or something you know some kind of a meteor you know striking the earth or something i always thought it like that you know the first impact or the second impact but in this episode it was really weird like you know uh, when we saw it like it's showing us like it's showing us the earth then there is a like a circular space oval type of space on top of which there is 
wings i'm guessing those are wings kind of they're kind of wings you know like this kind of things like four things kind of coming out of it and they were like you know kind of vibrating and there's this like weird screeching noise now i can i i can recognize this thing you know the like the wings they are like flying or something the thing that they show they're looking like you know insect wings like the wings that is a few insects have it looks like that and you know where i saw this before the opening like when it, all, always in the opening they show us the evangelion kind of you know uh, like standing and there's these wings coming out of the evangelion so here's the thing like i said this before as uh, like as well i think uh, the angels are coming for the evangelion you know maybe the target is not the humans the target is the evangelion and maybe the evangelion is you know uh, kind of uh, like also kind of an angel like uh, or something like that and like we also know that uh, the angels have this human dna we need with within it or something like that so maybe so the origin of the evangelion the angel the humans are all the same you know maybe there was this kind of a mutation that happened and they kind of became angels and a few be became evangelions or something or maybe the evangelions uh, like came from the angels or something anyways like this is just guesswork and like in my guess i'm like i think that all of these are connected like the evangelions the angels and the humans like all of them are connected in some ways because there's a lot of you know hints for that like the whole like fetus thing the whole angels fetus that like uh, shinji's dad called adam like that in itself is a big you know clue because he called it an adam adam as if the uh, first human the first man and uh, then there's this whole thing with uh, the kind of implied that the angels come from uh, like it uh, has this human dna within it so that and also another thing is that the uh, adam it looks like a human like you know a human baby fetus within you know within the uterus uh, the when the baby you know grows bigger it looks like that that's like a human fetus so that's another clue as to like uh, how the angels and humans are connected somehow and maybe that is the reason why they're called angels i don't know like they're calling it adams uh, like the fetus adam so like they are also like naming it like that like angels or something and or, or maybe the they're calling them angels because of the wing kind of thing that's protruding uh, who knows yeah that was really weird you know like the impact was really weird the way they showed it like there's this like bad type of a screeching noise like some kind of like things from like like from <coughs> like some hellish like hell spawn monsters were screeching it was like some kind of a sound like that like this kind of a weird screeching noise that was happening and there's this kind of wings kind of protruding out and then uh, like we see like Misato's like standing in the middle of the sea and she is like just a sec yeah she's looking outside and there's this kind of things uh, pouring out from the sky like yellow yellow things weird <laughs> anyways so yeah a few things we got in this episode a few like crucial uh, like you know clues so yeah i'm sure like they'll reveal more of it what this actually is about like these angels what are they like why are they attacking them like, my guess is the angels target are the evangelians who knows like or maybe not like this is just a guess but anyways so yeah guys that's it uh that is this episode this was neon genesis evangelion episode number 12 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed or you haven't please be sure to do so and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to like talk in general about this anime or anything i'll be sure to check them out so so yeah guys um i'll be back with two new episodes of neon genesis evangelion next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day